man oh man r.i.p to legion of skanks on youtube r.i.p to legion of skanks on youtube i saw this courtesy of joke world big up joke world for posting the news and spreading it out there it says breaking news youtube has terminated terminated legion of skanks podcast channel marking another chapter in the trio's turbulent fight against online censorship legion of skanks channel has been terminated on youtube it got fucking yeah exactly it got gadooshed out of the fucking stratosphere fucking nuked completely that's gotta hurt when you build a channel and you're starting to kind of get some traction you got some guests you got some notoriety on there you watch some vid like again watch some videos you live stream you get some sponsors some ads and shit and now boom it gets fucking taken away and the funny thing is even though they you know they push the show or they market the show as the most offensive podcast in the world it really isn't it's just like any i don't know it's not it's not that crazy it's not that crazy you know it really isn't that crazy so the fact that they got banned is kind of dumb <laughs> to be fair because it isn't that offensive really and truly they, they kind of they're a bit you know yeah they may say some dicey words here and there but it doesn't really go that far so the fact that they got they got nuked is kind of crazy um but i wonder is my theory i wonder if this has to do with luis j gomez hear me out here luis j gomez has this thing that he does where he loves to argue with people online he loves to like go back and forth with people and i think his defense is like oh if i'm in the if i'm in the airport before my flight and i've got some time i'll go back you know i'll start going back and forth with random people and start firing from the hip I wonder if all those arguments he's been having with randoms on Twitter, one person got annoyed and then just started mass reporting his fucking channel and just started spamming reporting his channel to the point where YouTube had to take action. I wonder if Luce Gomez being a bit of a troll, being a little bit of an edgelord, being annoying, right? Being a bit of a drama queen and um, bitching all the time, got under somebody's skin and they're like, you know what? I'm going to fucking take you out. And they're like, you know what, fuck this. Let's start spam reporting the channel. I wonder if that is what happened. Or could it be that they just, you know, maybe showed a couple, too many couple dicey clips on their channel. Or maybe they already had some copyright strikes already on there. Who knows? They could have already had some on there. But either way, um, it's been terminated. But they did make an update on their Twitter. Legion of Skanks official Twitter did show. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a long fucking post. Um, fucking hell. Um, here's eight. Here's episode eight one six of the Legion of Skanks, which features someone called H Foley and Kevin Ray Comedy um, joining Big J, Lewis J, and Dave Smith. We'll be posting all episodes on Twitter going forward. So now Legion of Skanks is going to be hosted on Twitter. Everything's going to be on Twitter. Um, comedians H Foley and Kevin join us. Da, da, da. Only the most offensive podcast in the world. Air date. Blah blah support our sponsors go to kratom subscribe to the podcast on there for a limited time sign up for a little how long has this in promo been going on how long have they been talking about this limited time it's existed since the beginning isn't it this is not change for a limited time sign up to gas digital with promo code los get free seven days da, 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 da. so they're going to be posting it on twitter from now on going forward so um you know not the greatest um, thing for them because monetization on Twitter isn't the greatest and also the user experience of watching videos on Twitter isn't as good as it could be. I think it's decent enough if you've got premium. Like I've got Twitter premium so you can watch Twitter videos in the background. That kind of is okay. But if you're watching it on the app and you don't have premium and you can't kind of, you know, switch apps, it's a bit odd. It's a bit clunky to use. You can easily swipe back and you have to go back again. It's a bit odd. It's a bit annoying. So the experience isn't the greatest. What, what, what do you call that? You call that a UI or UX, but whatever one it is called, it's not the greatest. I'm not going to lie. So I'm curious to see how this goes and if it works out for them. Um, I am guided for them. I'm not going to lie. Even though I don't really watch, um, or oh, big up Coilers UX, even though I don't really, what well, a user experience. Okay, cool. UX, big up Coiler. Even though I don't really watch um, Legion of Skanks that much anymore. Um, it's not cool to see people get their channels terminated you know what i mean and their livelihoods taken away from them so that's a bit peak 
Um, so yeah, um, solidarity and thoughts and feelings go out to these guys. Hopefully they bounce back and they figure out a way to kind of figure it out, whether that means having a new channel, whether that means appealing to the decision, I'm not really too sure. But, you know, this would be better if it happened to like DSP. Why doesn't DSP ever get his channel terminated? He's, he, he, you know, those type of people deserve it way more. The boogie, the wings of the redemption, all those fucking donkey low cows, they deserve to get their channels terminated and for them to go out and get a fucking real job more so than these guys. You know what I mean? Like, but they'd never do. But hey, what do I know? What do I know?